Hello and welcome to our Veterans Talk Show. In the land of the free and the home of the brave, everyone deserves for their story to be told. From those who have served to those who are currently serving, every veteran deserves recognition for their service. It is truly inspiring to see all of the people in our community that are helping veterans with their stories. I'm Garrett Tenbrink. And I'm Trina Verano. This is Beyond the Rocks because of the brave. The first story that we'll highlight today is the No Member Dies Alone program at the Michigan Home for Veterans. The Michigan Home for Veterans has provided a comfortable place for veterans across West Michigan to live since 1886 following the Civil War. Yeah, and the program has many activities for all the members within the home, anywhere from ceramics to bingo. It provides a really nurturing space for all the people. Yeah, and one program that we really want to highlight is the No Member Dies Alone program. So let's send it down to Isaac Galay to tell us some more about the program and what it entails. Thanks, Garrett. We are here at the Michigan Home for Veterans, which is conveniently placed right across from Riverside Park. Now this veterans home has a rich history as it was built in 1886 following the American Civil War. These newly renovated homes were more recently built in 2019, providing beds and aid services for all the retired veterans. The new facility also provides many programs which enhance the lives of the American men and women that sacrificed for this country. One of these programs is No Member Dies Alone. Through this program, veterans receive end-of-life support through comfort and faith services. Let's send it to Emily Pittman to share more about this amazing program. The Michigan Home for Veterans added the No Member Dies Alone program to their organization to support veterans in need during the end stages of their lives. It was for those veterans who died without family members uh, or whose family were distant and weren't able to come at the time. There would be no one there to support them. We step in, uh, we come to the bedside, we assist the nursing staff. The volunteers provide comfort care to those members and act as their family when they don't have a good support system. Be there to provide music for them if they need music, to uh, talk with them, to read to them, to pray with them to hold their hand, to let them know that they're not alone. Mr. Kalish, along with other staff and volunteers, noticed a positive change in the comfort of the veterans. Veterans and other people as well, but particularly veterans, uh, have lived difficult lives. We want them to know that they are not alone. To be with a person at that moment, to be standing in for their family, to show them that they are loved and not forgotten, it's the best that a human being can do for another human being. It's particularly impressing on us that we are able to do this for those who as veterans at one time were willing to lay down their lives by taking on the cloak of their nation. These veterans put their lives on the line to protect all of ours and the No Member Dies Alone program is an important resource to give back to those heroes. This has been Emily Pittman with Beyond the Rock. It is so inspiring to see all that these volunteers have done at the Michigan Home for Veterans to make an impact on the lives of their local servicemen. Yeah, and another way that our community has impacted veterans has been at our very own high school. Our woodshop teacher, Mr. Schramm, has created many pieces specifically for veterans. It's really cool how he showcases his art at a lot of different festivals, and he'll even do a lot of custom pieces for some local veterans. Let's check out more about Mr. Schramm's artwork. A lot of times, me as a woodworker, I attend craft shows in the summer. And a lot of my products in the booth are kind of veteran related. And so I started out making like normal American flags. And then I had so many vets or like members, like different family members come to me saying, can I put like army logo on it or um, like my cousin's name on it or my husband's name on it. And then it kind of spiraled from there. But like I can put their like platoon number or if their um, like group had a saying that they really enjoyed or something like a model they live by, um, it's really special to put that text on there and it kind of puts them back in that kind of setting. Some people, they come on in and they get really quiet and they get just wrapped up in like either the craftsmanship or just the memories that are flowing through them at that moment of looking at these different things. Um, some of them are walking in and they may not actually buy that item. They're just somebody that appreciates um, you kind of supporting military in general. 
right? I never served. Um, I've had like an uncle and like a grandpa that served in the past, but I think the main thing is just supporting in general, right? They see that and the more they can see the appreciation for what they do, I believe it's kind of, it makes their job a little bit easier. And overall, they play a massive part in our whole country and the way we are able to live our lives. I think just us simply giving a thanks by making a product that's unique to them is definitely worthwhile. Another local veteran that has been doing a lot for his fellow servicemen is Travis Snyder, who's been trying to raise awareness for veterans' mental health through his own coping strategy. Travis Snyder was actually the Michigan Veteran of the Year in 2022 and Detroit Lions hometown hero. Yeah, he hiked all the way around Lake Michigan and met with several different organizations raising support for his cause. Michigan veteran Travis Snyder witnessed many soldiers with mental health issues in the military that led him to start his journey to break the stigma. I was a sergeant, but we were in Afghanistan for seven months. Spring of 2019, we lost one of our guys to suicide. I know the guys in my immediate circle can say that we weren't aware that he was struggling with mental health um, or suicidal tendencies. He decided to combine his love for the outdoors with his passion for helping veterans. I was actually hiking around Manistee, just kind of thinking about the future and what my plan was going to be. And being a smart aleck that I am, I thought to myself, you know, I'll just backpack across the UP. Take it a step further, I was like, well, why don't you just walk around Lake Michigan? He walked 2,590 miles in five years to support those who have fought for us. Here we are, mile one, day one of my walk across Michigan. The goal of these hikes is to raise money and awareness to fight veteran suicide. E each day I would highlight a different organization or advocate and talk about their story and their mission and what they were doing. Uh, the goal this year is to get veterans connected with some awesome organizations and resources that we have here in the state of Michigan. Through these walks and building these, this community of people that care about this cause, I want people to be, still be encouraged and be reminded that, you know, that they're, they're here for a reason. There's resources available to you, no matter who you are, you know, your, your life's not an accident. Travis hopes to bring light to the mental health of people, especially veterans. If I feel like I've amplified a voice just a little bit, then I would say that that could be one accomplishment. This has been Ella Moore with Beyond the Rock. One of the organizations that Travis Snyder supported was the Has Heart Coffee Shop located downtown Grand Rapids. This coffee shop is really cool. Uh, it's a nonprofit and it was started by a veteran and a local artist with a passion for the outdoors. Michael Hyacinth and Tyler Way actually met in 2010 where they were able to start their organizations to help veterans in need. And then in 2019, they began construction on the Hazhar Coffee Shop, but because of COVID, they had to be pushed back till this year. Tyler's a really impressive artist, and it's been really cool to see how he's gone all across the U.S. to all 50 states to meet with veterans to create artwork for these coffee shops. Let's send it to Cameron Maximowski to learn more about Tyler and Michael's journey with Hazhar. My goal is to create a space where the community can come together. Veteran Michael Hyacinth met his partner, Tyler Way, over a decade ago, and talks of how to assist other veterans and military members began. He introduced uh, me to the idea of utilizing art and design to help support veterans. This sparked the idea of using an unused building on the lot of Veterans Memorial Park as a way to celebrate those who have fought for us. This space has been vacant for quite some time. It's a beautiful historic building. It was underutilized and unused for several years and the city had plans to renovate the building and so we started using it for pop-up art prize exhibits. After they saw the impact art prize had on retired and current military members, they decided to turn the temporary exhibit into a permanent one. Now we're getting ready to turn this into a, a coffee shop slash um, art exhibit where you'll be able to come and get a, a good cup of coffee as well as see artwork created by veterans. We hope the vibe will be very chill but also inspirational. The Has Heart Shop will be a friendly environment where veterans can share stories and civilians can understand more about the impacts of the military, specifically through the inspirational artwork. We truly believe that creativity can heal can also connect us together. I think when you get to the heart of it, uh, we're all very similar. And we have a right to be different. That's what our veterans served for. Has Heart hopes to have volunteers come and interact with the honorable veterans in the shop. With Beyond the Rock, this has been Cameron Maximowski. Today we're here at Veterans Memorial Park in Grand Rapids, Michigan for the opening day of the Has Heart Coffee Shop. Co-founder Tyler Way has traveled across the country to create artwork inspired by veterans in each and every state. Now that he's settled here in Grand Rapids, he has partnered with Michael Hyacinth to create the coffee shop. 
Let's take a look to see how it's been going. What I, I heard about this coffee shop is Michael actually went through a program for nonprofits. It's called Warrior Rising, and that's who I work for. And we help veterans in entrepreneurship. And so Michael shared with me about the grand opening, and I'm an hour and a half away. So I decided I wanted to support him in his journey. We needed it, so I'm glad that Mike and Tyler could do it. It gives me something to do. So I'm a veteran that can't work, but I can volunteer. It's amazing to see the veteran from corner to corner of this place is an opportunity for veterans to share their stories, display their artwork, and just fellowship and be in the heart of Grand Rapids. Yeah, yeah, cool. Definitely the veteran community to be able to have a, a space to have a great cup of coffee and to share our stories. Veterans are great for storytellers. And sometimes there's not a free place to do that with other people that understand. It's going to be a close one where everybody can go to. You'll see already today we've had tons of veterans being able to come in, share a little bit about their military history, and then go out the door with a great cup of coffee. No one should be forced to face their struggles alone, and we appreciate all of those who support our veterans to get the recognition they deserve. To those who will serve, those that are currently serving, and those who have served and are finding their way to thrive, BTR thanks you for your service. Once again, I'm Garrett Tenbrink. And I'm Trina Verano. This has been Because of the Brave.